one, um, I got the Tim Holtz um, magnetic tray. Ooh, sorry, let me back this up. And I promised that I would show you. Um, so what I did is I dropped in all of my uh, movers and shapers into the tray and just put a piece of scrap paper over it. Let me just move my cuddle bug out of the way. And you can use this in cuddle bug or in the regular Sizzix machines. I'm just using my long dies. So here's the centers. And there's the one inch square. Oop. One inch square. There's the rectangle, some corners. Oh, and there's the box, uh, the square hinge. Um, the rattle, the two keys, the ornament flower, fleur de lis. Let me just peel this up and you'll see. So these are the corners. They don't punch all the way through. And these are corners as well. You could use this for gift cards. So you can sh put whatever you want on here. And I obviously put everything on there, but if I take see if I take everything but well, let's do this one this way and this is I believe the size is 8 by 6 so it would fit a 5 and a half um, by 8 sheet of paper which is the standard A2 size um, greeting card let me show you what happens when you run it through with nothing except the one that you want to, the one cut that you want to make. So I have just this, which make sure it's centered. And I'm going to put a piece of paper over it. And this is five and a half by um, eight. Clean this up. I'm gonna put the. I use one of my um, B plates for cutting, so I put that on top, and then the other one I put underneath, so then I can use it with embossing folders without um, leaving imprints on my paper. And uh, I'm gonna use my. Bug. I'm just going to pull the camera back a little because it's a large and now I'm working in a small space because it's only a tiny little square I'm going to do that that's it move this out of the way pull the camera forward sorry not entirely organized, but I wanted to get this hurry up. I wanted to hurry and get this done before my scrubby comes back. So here's the paper that I just cut, and look at that. It's a little window, so if you fold this in half, move this, sorry, out of the way, and then cuts. You have an envelope. Uh, a card and grant you I wasn't entirely centered, but you get the idea. So you can use the tray to make your own cards with any of the um, movers and shapers. So can you you could do that. You could do a baby one with a rattle. So that's a really quick down and dirty of um, how the magnetic tray works. Uh, I'll continue playing around, and uh, if I come up with something ingenious, which it is possible, um, I will certainly post a video. If anyone has any questions, please leave me a comment. Otherwise, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. And I will be back uh, to show you the one-inch square um, faux um, Scrabble tile tutorial, probably tomorrow. Thanks for watching.